before I get into this, I'm sick again, and it's making me have a lot of voice cracks. So if I leave some voice cracks in here, I don't want to be seeing comments about it. Anyways, I'm a month late, but Fortnite porting got a crazy revamp. Um, it's absolutely amazing now. I'm going to be showing you how to get that, how to use it now, because it's a whole different app now. It is amazing. So first of all, join have server and invite link will be in the description and then go to v2 download okay and then go to the very latest one and click right here and then press continue to download all right and after that you'll have this file here go ahead and double click this and then it'll tell you windows protected your pc don't mind that just press more info press run anyway and then it'll tell you you need to install or update.net uh, press download it now and then it will open this browser tab right here if it doesn't automatically download just click here to download manually all right and now you'll have this file right here double click this and then just press install it'll go through the installation process once that's done just press close you can go ahead and delete this file and then try and open up Fortnite porting again. And then you'll get a console and then the app. Um, wherever you put the installer, all these files will go. So I do recommend moving this. I put it on my desktop just for ease of use for this tutorial. But I do keep a folder in here for all this because it will clog up your desktop. <laughs> so it'll tell you, welcome to Fortnite porting. Uh, please select your Fortnite installation. Um, and for most people, this will be the correct um, location already so for most of the people this is okay you won't need to change anything but if you did install fortnite to a different location you only need to press browse and then select where you've installed fortnite but for most people this should work as is so press continue so to fix this just go into epic games launcher and then to fix it just click on the three dots and then press options and then from here just enable pre-download stream assets and then press apply so now this is going to go ahead and install a whole another 20 ish gigabytes of files so i am very sorry but all right so it's been an entire day everything is finally finished downloading on epic games launcher yes my internet is slow and before we get into the fun part we have to go to plugin and then click this plus button and then navigate to where you have Blender installed. For me, I have Blender on Steam, which I know is very unusual. So I'm just gonna delete everything again. And let's head into Fortnite porting. And you can see it here, it has our Blender, as you can see. And now we can go to the Assets page, and this is where all the fun stuff begins. So a couple of main things have changed here. First of all, cell shaded skins work. I, I don't know how, you, how he's done this, but it, it just works. Um, so we can click on Yuji here and we'll press export in there. There we go. Look at that. It actually just works and it looks like perfect. So that's one big thing. Cell shaded skins, you do not have to manually port them anymore. It just works. It's awesome. All right. So before we get into porting more stuff, I recommend going to export and we're going to change a couple settings here. First of all, reorient bones, turn that on. It makes the experience much better. Um, another cool thing, this is optional, is the rig type. The Tasty Rig here adds an IK rig, um, which is inverse kinematics. It basically makes posing a lot easier, so if you do plan on using these for uh, a thumbnail or something like that, I personally really like the Tasty Rig just because it makes the whole posing process so much easier. And then depending on the skin, I do like preserve volume. In this case, I'll turn it on because it does look better most of the time, I'd say. And then besides that, I'd keep everything default. And besides that, we're good to go. So let's head over back to the assets and let me show you what you can do in this now. So first of all, we have basically every skin. Uh, you have a style selector as well you can use. Um, and it actually works impressively well. Um, you also can click on cosmetics and you have back blings, pickaxes, gliders, pets, toys, emotes. Emotes should work now, I think, if we go ahead and import this skin, for example. Let's put a mask on because it looks cool. I think we have to have the skeleton selected, so just click on the skeleton. It should look just like this. Should we highlight it in orange? And then we can go to the emotes tab, and then I'm pretty sure I can just select an emote, press exports, and I think, yep, that was a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be. All right, and then we could just play it. Ah, has volume, I did not think that had volume. Holy cow, that's really loud. But yeah, you can see that just works. It's really loud for me. You can also, there's a setting in the export to make it loop if you want it to loop. So you can see it stopped right here but you can actually have a loop. So if we add back into Fortnite porting, there's also emoticons, sprays, banners, loading screens, all these which should export as a PNG. 
Another interesting thing I noticed, if you right click on any of the cosmetics, you can actually favorite stuff for like skins you use a lot, which I find nice. You can also copy the path or ID if you need to port something manually, maybe that uh, Fortnite porting can't handle. There's also creative stuff. This props thing is amazing. Like you can get pretty much every like piece of building ever out of this and it's just so good. Uh, gameplay has weapons and items. This is still one of my favorite things about this. I know I talked about this in the last video. This is just so useful. I don't know if you guys were around when new model was the thing you used for this, but finding weapons in new model is an awful experience, let me tell you. Uh, we have resources. I uh, even have the Fortnite Festival stuff, so all the instruments. Now, Fortnite porting can be used for other things other than just porting skins and all that. You can actually go to the files, and this is a whole U model replacement, basically. It has a previewer and everything. Oh. It does not have a previewer, never mind, I'm wrong. Um, but this is a whole U-model replacement minus the previewer. You can see every file in here. If you need to manually port stuff, this is a great way to do it instead of using U-model or F-model. Uh, we also have this radio feature where you can literally just play any Fortnite song. It has got everything. And I'll just go to the best one for example. I don't know if I'm gonna get copyrighted for that. I don't think I can get copyrighted for Fortnite music, but that's a thing. Yeah, and that's basically it for Fortnite porting. So you can just go to any skin you want, instantly port it into your Blender project, and it's gonna speed up your workflow so much because now Fortnite porting is pretty much perfect, I'd say. It does pretty much everything you could want in an app like this. Now, if I had one request to make, uh, it would be UMAP integration because I, hate making UMAP videos because every single Fortnite update messes it up. So, you know, half, if you're watching this, you know, UMAP integration someday, maybe, maybe. Uh, but anyways, that is how you use Fortnite porting. Um, and last thing before I end this video, if you do have questions about this, you can ask in my server, but I cannot guarantee I'll be able to help you since I am not the developer of this. I have not helped at all in the development of this. So I do recommend asking in half server. They have great support over there, but you can ask me. Maybe I'll be able to fix it, but I can't guarantee anything. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.